Hey, it's Joe Glines, and uh, in this video I'm going to demonstrate a little bit of the differences between Selenium and Com with uh, Auto Hotkey. So here I have, uh, I'm, I'm hitting, I'm trying to bring it over here, this, this page, um, and I get the, uh, I store the S, um, I'm getting it by class name, and storing it in this object here, S. And here, when I try to run this, so if I run it, oops, the launch it, run it, it comes up with error. And see this um, underscore uh, new enumeration, or that's what it's, it's standing for. Is there there isn't a built-in way to enumerate over in com objects? Uh, but I'm going to say yes. And here in the second one, what it's going to do is it dumped out here. I looped over the I did the object length, right? So that is one that's going to come up here in a minute. And I oop. Uh, iterated over it, storing it in my com data variable, and I'm just noting here. See, this is the first one and the second one. That's the a index, right? And then I put in a tab, and then I'm getting um, a index minus one because in com there's zero based elements, um, and I'm getting the outer HTML and putting in a new line, so it, it puts them in the next line, um, and that dumped it in here. Now. When I launch the IE driver, it doesn't, I could do this in Chrome too, right? It doesn't matter. But um, when I do it in Selenium, I noticed a couple things. One is this, if I actually ran it, um, doesn't work. The dot length does not work. Um, you need to use dot count. And I think actually that C might even have to be capitalized. I don't quite remember, but I just make sure you test that. Um, and that is going to, so let me hit Control T. Now we're going to, that is going to, I don't know what happened. Let's try it again. Control T. Oh, it's on the other window. Um, let me bring it over. It's the same. It's still IE, right? So there are two, as with the other one, there are two um, classes that have uh, S in it that are defined as S. Now here's the interesting part. So again, I did that. Now what's interesting is I stored just like up here um, in the above one. So where is it? Um, I stored, um, uh, this is the find elements instead of get, oh, that's why it's not highlighted, but I did the find, and there's a length. Um, I, st I actually created the object. I could have put this down here, too. I didn't actually have to create that object, but I stored it. Um, however, in, in um, com, I'm sorry, Selenium, um, it does iterate over it. Now, here's another interesting thing. Typically, in, in everything I've dealt with with objects, the, the key would be the index, and the V is going to be the um, the object of each element. However, here we're seeing V. See here how I show it's is, is object V, and then this is a zero, so it's saying no, it's not an object. And for some reason they have the value, um, the text uh, digit of nine, which I think is like the type of object that, that, um, that is held. But it, it's interesting enough, it's actually held in the keys. And so, um, let me go ahead and I'm going to comment that out. And let me comment this one out too, because I don't need that. I'm going to reload it. I'm going to hit Control T again. Again, it put on the other window. But notice this time it cranked out the two things for me. Oh, it looks like I didn't have. Oh, because there is no there is no key, right? I'm um, sorry, the key in this case is the A index. And to me, when I think of the key, I'm thinking it's the iteration. But um, I would put in here. I'd go ahead and use a index because a index also does work uh, in uh, a for loop. So let me reload it. Did I save it? Yeah. And Control T. And now here we should see this gets updated. So here's the one two. Uh, oh, the other thing that I wanted to point out this this threw me as well is notice here I just say k dot attribute this. Right, this threw me for a while because in the other stuff I did, I don't have it. Um, yeah, I get, got rid of it here. But when you're when you're going straight to it with Selenium, I would have been needing to put in this, right? And I think it was something. Well, and here I would have put the a index, right? This is how I I first tried doing this because I'm iterating over it, and I thought, okay, I'll I'll change the a index, and that'll give me that. But you don't actually need to do that. Um, because it's each object and it's iterating over them, I don't need to have the item value. It's just each one is an object, and I can directly access it this way in a for loop. Um, and that's it. Just some subtle differences. 
Um, benef I, I do like being able to iterate over them, um, loop over them. Uh, it's nice having it being enumerated. It's just going to take me a while to think of the key as the object instead of the value. Thanks.